Hey all! Today I'm going to make a little bow using this cute unicorn clay. It's like a little girl in a unicorn onesie or unicorn costume. It's super cute. So to go with this, I've picked out this beautiful sort of pastel rainbow. It's a fine glitter fabric. So I thought that went well with the colours on that clay. And then I've got this ribbon, which has got unicorns and rainbows on it also. I'd have preferred it to be pastel rainbow, really, but if you put them all together, I think that would work. So this is what I'm going to try out today. The template I'm using is this one. You would have seen this on my last tutorial for the fairy hair bow. Um, I'll put a link in the comments. I got this from eBay. I'm probably not going to be using this piece. I'm only going to use this piece and the tails. I thought, I've never tried using this on its own before with ribbons, so I thought that'd work with ribbons. So I thought we'll give that a go. So I'm gonna draw on the back of my fabric. You can pick which way you want the stripes. You could have them go in diagonal or you could lay, lay this in line with the stripes so the stripes go across, but I'm gonna stick with the diagonal direction. So I'll just draw around this template and then we'll cut that out. So this is what you've got after you've cut it out. So using this part of the template, I'm using that as a guide for the length of my ribbon. So I'll just show you how long that is. So I've cut my ribbon to 19 and a half centimetres, which is the same as the template. And I'm just going to use a lighter, a heat seal the ends. And then I've just got some all-purpose glue. I'm just going to create a loop. You don't have to use glue, you can do this just by pinning it, but this glue just makes it a little bit easier for me personally. I'm just going to make a loop with that. Now because we want our unicorn on one side and a rainbow on the other, I'm going to slide this where I want it. So I'm just going to grab a needle and thread. So taking a needle and I've got some double strand thread on there with a knot in the end. I'm going to adjust this a little bit to how I want it. So I want a unicorn at the front and the rainbow star will obviously be on the opposite side so that don't matter about this this glue will hold that securely so you don't have to worry about that and we're going to fold that in half to mark our center when we've lined that up how we want it and we're going to sew six stitches across this middle one two, three, four, five, six. Wrap that around a few times, one, two, three. And then on this underside, we're just going to seal that off. One, two, just to form a knot. 
So you've got a basic pinch bow. And then the tails, we'll use the tails from the template and we'll use this glitter again. Just move them aside a moment. So I'm going to draw around this and cut the tails out. So there's our tails cut out. Right now, we're going to stick our bow, turning this piece upside down so the pattern side is at the bottom. We're going to glue our bow in the middle there. So taking a hot glue gun, some hot glue, Making sure that's all nice and straight. Now what we're going to do next is taking these four bits that are sticking out, we're going to just open up one side of these loops first and we're going to tuck these in like that inside the loops. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on this very tip end and then we're just going to bring that in. inside that loop and do the same with the other side so opening up that loop bring this down tuck it in making sure that that's in line with the opposite side Pushing that inside, making sure the glue is taken. So this is what you've got on one side. Now we're going to do the same with the other loop. Tucking that inside. So this is what you end up with. I think that's really effective. That looks like you've got sort of the ribbon over the top of some fabric loops. That's why I quite like that bow template because although when I first bought it, I actually bought it to use as the whole shape. So I had to draw around the whole shape in the last tutorial I done with the fairy bow. But the fact you have got it in two pieces makes it more versatile and you can you have much more options with it so now we're going to add our tails I'll pop a link for this in my comment section for the template so we're going to just line that up on the tails already lined a 45 millimeter double prong clip you don't have to line your clips and you don't have to use a clip you can use an elastic or a headband whichever you prefer you stick that on the underside and I'm just going to use a little 
off cut piece of the rainbow glitter to wrap around my center for now. So sticking that under the bottom middle of the bow. And I'm gonna wrap that around the middle. Trimming off the excess. And then just reshape the bow because sometimes when you wrap the centre around that pulls the bow out of shape a little bit. Like that. So this is what we've got now. Now you could leave it like this, but I want to use my little unicorn clay in the centre. Now I've already cut some little rectangle pieces of felt and I've hot glued them onto the back. This is just to help her stick better because hot glue and felt works super good together. And I'm also going to use my gemstone glue, which is a washable glue for glass beads, gemstones, pearls, sequins. And I've found that it's got quite a good bond and that helps the hot glue just to sort of give it a double security. So I'm going to pop some of the gemstone glue, let's just see where that's going to sit. So I'm going to pop some of the gemstone glue around the edges of the felt. I'm use a pin to free the glue. And this is just going to go around the edges of the felt, because the felt is where I'm going to place the hot glue, so this is going to go around the edge. So I've placed the gemstone glue just around these edge bits which are going to touch the bow. And then I'm carefully going to place my hot glue in the middle, try not to touch the gemstone glue because otherwise that will cancel the gemstone glue out and that won't work. So placing my hot glue on that felt part in the middle. And then the hot glue will act as an instant bond and that will hold that in place while the gemstone glue is curing. And there you have your bow using a template and ribbon. And that just shows a different way to use that three piece bow template. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you've got any questions, pop them into the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.